right, in this one we're going to learn the connection between rectangular or Cartesian graphs and polar graphs. Um, so our goal is to get to graph something like this, r equals 4 cosine theta. And what we're going to do is we're going to think back to what it would it look like if y were equal to 4 cosine x. Um, and so the 4 gives us our amplitude. So we start up here, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is cosine. We're here at 0. We're down at negative 4. We're back to 0, and we're back up to positive 4. Um, I'm expecting that you remember from earlier this year how to graph a trig function. If not, pause and go back and figure it out. Um, the one I also want to plug in, I want to make sure my curve is a little bit more precise. Um, at On my unit circle, my x value is cosine, and I'm at 1 half when I'm in the, or negative 1 half when I'm in the pi over 3 family. Okay, so here, each, each little line is proving to be 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, notice 6 pi over 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I divided this into pi over 6s. Um, so this first one, pi over 3, is going to be here. So if, if I'm asking, I'm trying to find the y value when cosine is pi over 3. Well, we just remember that pi over 3, that's 1 half. So this is 4 times 1 half. This is going to give me a y value of 2. So here, I'm at positive 2. And then at um, 2 pi over 3, which is 4 pi over 6, um, I'm at negative 1 half. So if this were negative, that becomes a negative. And so 4 pi over 6, 1, 2, 3, 4 pi over 6, that's a negative 2. And then, um, and then here at, this is 4 pi over 3, this is, no, this is 4 pi over 3. That's 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, sorry, um, which is 8 pi over 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I'm here. And then I get back, and then at this point right here. So anyway, I just wanted a few more points on my graph. When I go to draw my curve, okay, that, I've done worse. <laughs> so there's that graph of y equals cosine of x. And now what we're going to do is we're going to think in terms of, of, of taking this graph and putting it on here. Now I knew... I was having a hard time, I tried this a second ago, I was having a hard time seeing my lines. So I went through and, and highlighted in purple um, my 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, uh, that, that sort of thing. And then I drew a circle here around, um, I drew the radius 1, 2, 3, 4, just because I was getting lost in that. So this first one, when theta equals 0, my, my value is 4. So when theta equals 0, I'm on... Uh, so theta equals 0, I have a radius of 4, which is this point right here. Then the next one here at, um, at pi over, well, okay, I'm going to ignore the pi over 12. I'm going to look at the pi over, like, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, and that sort of thing. So at, at pi over 6, that's the first line, I am somewhere between 3 and 4. So at pi over 6 on this line, I'm going to be somewhere between 3 and 4. Um, and it seems a little closer to, to 4. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. And then at 2 pi over 6, so pi over 3 here, I am now, I'm going to, have to put this point on my graph, and that's at 2. So this has a radius here of 2. I'm at pi over 3, 2. Okay, and then, um, sorry, at, z, at pi over 2, I went 0, so I'm right here at the, at the origin. Um, or the pole, or whatever we call it in that. Um, and now when I get to 4 pi over 6, or um, 2 pi over 3, I'm going to turn around and go in a negative direction. So instead of coming out this way towards a positive 2 pi over 3, I'm going to turn around and go in a negative direction. And so that's just on this side, so that's 1, 2 right here. That negative 2 put me here. And then I'm going to do at, um, at 5 pi over 6, that's this one. Notice I'm somewhere between a negative 3 and negative 4, closer to the negative 4. So 5 pi over 6 is this. I'm going to trace that and then go to a negative, and that puts me somewhere over here. Um, what I didn't include is... Oh, I'm so sorry. That's in the wrong spot. I should have put that here. Because that was on 11 pi over 6, I put it on 23 pi over 12, which is just wrong. Um, so what's happening is that my graph is starting here. Now, I can, um, where was I? I was at, at 5 pi over 6. So I was here. Well, if I keep going, what's going to happen is that 
I end up going back and doing this, this becomes a circle. Here I was at zero, and then I came out and did something like this, and have circled around like that. Um, and I've actually only made it to pi, because here at pi, I was at negative four. So instead of going in a positive direction for pi, I turned around and went a negative direction, and that's what ended me right there. So this is actually just half of my period, but if I do it again, so now, let's think about this for a second. If I'm at, at um, 7 pi over 6, it's going to be a negative value. 7 pi over 6 is here. A negative value on that one puts me to this value right here. And so I just circle around that one more time as I, as I finish up my, my graph. Um, Try this, try the next one, see what you, see what you got, and see how um, as this starts going nicely, what it does to, to my, my polar graph.